All right, let's try a little trickier one. Um, these are our ones from the uh, Simple Machines. And uh, the ones with the crowbar and the Torx, uh, we spent a lot of time on. But we just kind of mentioned on these. But these are actually uh, pretty simple. That's why I pointed out that you really just got to kind of count uh, the ropes, if you will. Watch, uh, let's read this question here, number 24. It says, if you use an ideal pulley of the type shown in figure A, 27A. So we're looking at this one here. Uh, in 27A, to support a car engine. So here's this car engine maybe right there that has a mass of 115 kilograms. What would be the tension in the rope? And then B, what force must be on the ceiling support? And go ahead and assume that you're pulling straight down on the rope. So that's a little different from the, the pitcher. The pitcher kind of has you pulling at an angle, but let's pull straight down. And it would only matter for part B anyways here, which I guess is why they uh, talk about it in B. They also say don't worry about the mass of the pulley. All right, because if I was looking at a free body diagram here, and I'll just do my little squiggle, uh, pulling down would be gravity, mg, which would be the 115 times 9.8. So that's how much pulls down, okay? Now... I didn't add any more for the mass of the pulley. Presumably, it's, you know, probably just a fraction of a kilogram. And so, even as much as a kilogram would still be small here. So, they neglect that. But here's the idea of our simple machine, is that by wrapping the cord around here, the cord comes down, and so there's a tension pulling it up. It wraps around again. There's more tension pulling it up yet again. And so if you add up all your forces in the vertical direction, you've got two tensions pulling up and weight pulling down. That has to equal mass times acceleration. And if we're just holding it there, and so it says, well, all we have to do is support it. And so you might say, well, a hair more than that would lift it. And so this means that the tension is half the weight. And that's the advantage of this pulley system is that I can then pull at half the weight because it wraps around twice. My pull is doubled and I can actually then lift twice as much as I am pulling. And so, in this case, we would have one-half times 115 times 9.8. And so, grabbing my calculator, one-half times 115 times 9.8. And we would be pulling with 560, I'll call it four, newtons. Because, again, as it wraps around, it would, it would double. So 564 is the amount we'd have to pull as we are standing, you know, maybe next to the engine, with our arms lifted up and we're pulling on that, on that rope, which is half the weight of the engine, which is quite a bit. Um, wouldn't quite be enough to lift a grown person off the ground. That's another thing to wonder about. But uh, the pulley system that I've lifted engines out or actually have th something more like this. It's got three wrapped around it instead of two. And so then you only have to pull with a third of the, the weight of the engine. Okay, now that's A. Now B is kind of interesting here uh, because, again, I would say do a free body diagram. And the question is, what force must the ceiling supply? So I'll take uh, this kind of weird looking circle as this top pulley right here. 
And then notice that there's a cord or a rope here, one tied here, and the one I am yanking on here. And so there's really three cords or three ropes. Uh, now, I granted they're all one and the same. It's just kind of, it's wrapped around. But I would say that there's three tensions pulling down. And so that means lifting up, I'll just call it F, which would have to come from this support. Uh, and so the ceiling is pulling up on it. And so the pulley is pulling down on it with this big F. And that's probably the bummer part of this system is this force is, is pretty big. In other words, F minus 3T has to equal MA, which would be zero if I was just holding it in place. And so the amount of force on the ceiling, and so that top pole has got to support three times the tension. Now remember, Twice the tension is the weight of the engine. And so if you just had a single rope coming down holding the engine, you would only need to use uh, twice the tension in order to hold the weight of it. But because we wrap it around, there's the big price that we pay. And so taking this force and multiplying it by three, I get... 1691 newtons is what is needed on the, on the ceiling in order to support it, okay? So there's the whole idea of the pole. Uh, again, each little segment, if you will, wrapped around and supplies a, a tension. Uh, so they're not, we're not asked to do C, but you can see that pulling upward on this movable gang pulley would be four times the, the tension. And so you may be pulling up right here, but then that gets multiplied by a factor of four and you can lift something four times heavier than what you're actually pulling. All right, hope those were helpful. All right, bye now.